Hi all, uh, welcome to the regular uh, Jenkins governance meeting. Today is May 5th. Uh, we have several contributors on the call. Uh, so my name is Oleg Minashev. I'm one of Jenkins uh, uh, governance board members. So Uli Hafner is also a Jenkins board member. Mark Weiss is a documentation uh, officer and uh, documentation special interest group leader. And Mark, uh, Mark Jenk uh, Jackson uh, is a leader of the advocacy and uh, special interest group. Uh, so, at this meeting, we just uh, discuss what happens in the project and discuss and make decisions on key items submitted by the contributors and the developer mailing list, like voting for particular issues, etc. But the most of the discussions happen in the mailing list, and this is a, section, a session to just formalize these decisions. Okay. If you know, want to know more about governance meetings, so there is a page on Jenkins.io, Jenkins.io slash project slash governance meeting, and you can find all the information there. And you can also see the embedded uh, document. And by the way, here's our agenda. So we have a, a few topics for today. Mm, some good news about uh, the projects in Jenkins, also a request for approving hosting for UI Hack first repository. Uh, UI themes support policy and Windows support policy. So this is what we have now. And if you want uh, to add the topic, just uh, feel free to put it to the agenda. So, mm, okay. Um, I will start from roadmap updates. Mm. So we have a work in progress a public roadmap for the Jenkins project. And um, there is a number of uh, projects which are currently under active development. So you can see them here. It's actually quite a list. And we have some uh, good news about uh, these projects. So since the last meeting, uh, there were uh, multiple updates. Uh, first of them that we finally renamed uh, the official Docker images. So now it's Jenkins agent, Jenkins and Bout engine, and Jenkins SSH agent. There is a blog post on Jenkins.io with a summary. Uh, so yeah, it uh, moves um, agent terminology cleanup project forward, which we are handling and focusing on outreach special interest group. Then uh, related topic, official Windows images. So now we have official Windows images for all the same uh, agent repositories. We have uh, continuous delivery process for them. We have releases and everyone is welcome to start using them. So they are considered as fully supported images. And later we will talk a bit about what fully supported means. Okay. And then uh, another major update that um, the project by Team Jacob, by Liam Newman, etc., GitHub app authentication support. Um, it was released as preview one month ago, but uh, now it's in a general, it's in J. So you can just go to the Jenkins Update Center, uh, install a new version of uh, GitHub branch source plugin, and get uh, authentication as GitHub app. Uh, so you get higher right limit, user independent authentication, and proper security, etc. So uh, this is also an item in our roadmap. It's great to see that. And also there is ongoing development in the Google Summer of Code. Uh, just today we have uh, published the first video about uh, proof of concept uh, being uh, developed by our student. So if you're interested to go to the Jenkins YouTube and you can find it. Mm. So yeah, this is this project in GitHub checks API for Jenkins plugin. And uh, Uli, maybe you would like to summarize the current uh, progress while we're here. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, it was a really nice meeting today. Uh, we had a presentation of a prototype with, which already does a lot of things. So I now have a good feeling about uh, that there will be a good outcome of the project. Of course, it's just a prototype and you, the code needs to be cleaned up, but we already have uh, yeah, a, a kind of design document and we know a lot of steps we should go forward. And I think, yeah, it will be a very successful project, hopefully. Okay, fingers crossed. It's really important to the Jenkins community. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thanks uh, for working on that. And yeah, by the way, once you have these major updates, please don't hesitate to update the project description. So that video, for example, is linked there. And okay. hopefully we could uh, have a blog post soon. Who knows? Yeah, 
not now yet or do you think just for the prototype or for why not if it helps to facilitate the feedback okay yeah, yeah and same uh, for other projects so apparently all people on this call uh, are mentors in one of uh, gsoc project or maybe in multiple ones so if you have a prototype or whatever uh, which would be a should be showcased uh, please do so so okay. oh, oh, like as a yeah. topic on that theme, we've got an upcoming release of the Git plugin that will include symbols for pipeline and some other stuff. Is that a viable blog topic? Why not? Okay. All right. So that, that, that would be one where I could blog about it. Great. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, any blog posts would be appreciated because, again, we want to share uh, stories, we want to share improvements about the project. And yeah, if it fits the user experience uh, theme, yeah, you know what to do. We will talk about that later. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, another thing which is coming soon, hopefully the next week, is a uh, major update in system read permission. Uh, I have an action item to discuss when would be the weekly release. Uh, so a uh, long story short, we have a pull request which is needed to finalize this story. Uh, and uh, we need it for the next week uh, for crowd testing during UI UX hackathon because system read is really important for users of uh, configuration as code. Uh, so there is a pull request from team uh, which is waiting for reviews and more reviews would be appreciated. Uh, it's, it's here, extend the system read and extend the read for agents. So actually what I am going to do, I'm going to ask core maintainers about uh, having release not on Tuesday, as we're discussing now, but maybe on Monday or even earlier so that uh, um, we could uh, start testing that. So, the three contributors have already tested that, and I think that we could land that. So, yeah, I'm about asking for such a deviation, uh, but uh, I think it's really important mm -hmm. for the project. So, the idea then would be system read would be in a weekly build, even be at the launch of the Hackfest. Yeah, uh, we have an event uh, scheduled to Tuesday about um, system read permissions with demo, et cetera. And by this time, it would be awesome to have it uh, in the Jenkins weekly. Well, as, assuming that uh, merge conditions are passed, but actually they're passed even now. I proved that uh, I just moved it back uh, to review because I wanted to test it a bit more. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy uh, to start the, the official merge uh, countdown so that we could integrate it tomorrow. Uh, okay. Yep. So sorry for such detour about uh, incoming uh, changes and ongoing changes, but I think it would be useful if we cover it a bit at these meetings. And if you feel that we should try to focus on other stories, uh, yeah, just let's discuss that. Okay, uh, next important news. Uh, we have been accepted uh, to Google season of docs. Uh, this is our first ever year in uh, GSOD, and actually this is the second year of Google Season of Docs at all. What it means uh, to the project, we will have um, a technical writer uh, working on the project from September to December, or maybe even longer if it's a long running project. Um, and yeah, it's a good opportunity to improve a particular area of documentation. We have a number of project ideas published here, for example, just plugin documentation migration and update, uh, documentation, documenting Jenkins on Kubernetes, uh, reorganizing user uh, documentation, uh, and probably extending that, and also creating new solution pages. So this is uh, the project ideas we have now, and uh, if anyone is interested to submit more project ideas, please do so. Um, uh, thanks to Mark uh, for submitting uh, newbie friendly issues, etc., so that uh, students can uh, um, uh, try contributing something. Apparently, actually, we got a number of pull requests and comments uh, from uh, potential uh, mentors in this program. So, we've got nine pull requests, uh, right, Mark? That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, and counting. So, 
uh, we already get some contributions and uh, obviously we are ready to facilitate it. So if you have any project ideas, uh, please submit them. So we have one month until uh, uh, technical writer applications start. So by that time, it would be great uh, to have all projects in place. Okay, so another quick update is Cloud Native Special Interest Group. So it has been dormant for one year. Uh, we had a long discussion at the Jenkins Contributor Summit in Brussels in February, in January. And uh, there was a consensus that yes, we want to recover that. Yesterday, we had a first kickoff meeting uh, with those who joined uh, uh, the meeting. So we had uh, around eight contributors there, and we agreed to press it on this scope. So major change uh, which is important for the project that we rather switch focus uh, to user stories. Uh, so it means uh, your plugins uh, within the CNCF landscape, uh, managing Jenkins and Kubernetes, Jenkins on cloud providers and other things you can see in the list. We still want to work on architectural changes, but architectural changes would be rather uh, scoped uh, to, fo to focus on delivering user features. Because before that, the SIG was highly focused on architecture, or cloud native Jenkins. And yeah, personally, I'm not sure whether we really need a cloud native Jenkins or whether we need cloud friendly Jenkins. And cloud friendly Jenkins for me is also a really good goal for this SIG. Okay. Uh, if you're interested, there is a recording, there are meeting notes. Starting from June, we will have uh, regular sessions. Um, but yeah, uh, the SIG is uh, back and I will be updating pages. Okay. And yeah, other important update is Jenkins UI UX Hackfest. So if you have participated in any community meeting uh, over past uh, two weeks, you may have heard about that uh, because we discussed it almost everywhere. But yeah, the idea that we run a, a one week hard test uh, specifically focusing on improving Jenkins user experience. Uh, and it's about user interface, documentation, about sharing stories, uh, updating tutorials, providing guidelines so that users can easily use Jenkins and easily can find uh, the information. So right now we have three tracks. So it's user interface, um, it's user documentation, and yeah, spread, well, it's spread the word. I need to submit a pull request to fix that. Uh, but yeah, just uh, sharing whatever stories, including leveraging the Jenkins is the way program we have started two weeks ago, uh, which was approved at the governor's meeting. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the plan. Uh, currently, we are lining a number of events. So the, uh, here's a draft. Uh, we have already published a few of these events. Others will be published uh, by Friday. And Hopefully it will be a great event where we will uh, uh, have uh, many contributors joining. Right now we have uh, 50 RSVPs in our registration form and we have around 80 RSVPs uh, to the opening meetup. Uh, personally, I have no idea how many contributors we will get in total, uh, but yeah, our hope is to have around 50. So let's see. Any comments about that? Any questions? So like the, mm -hmm. the gathering, the contributors work, the repository that you proposed, I think that's later in the agenda, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we can just switch to that actually. Ah, okay. Okay, so one of the challenges for us uh, in this Hackfest is that it uh, includes not only code contributions, uh, like submitting pull requests, that part is easier. But it also includes non contributions, for example, reviews, uh, user experience testing, um, and also uh, yeah, spread the word, uh, including submitting uh, stories, posting about Jenkins, etc. So we need an engine which would allow us uh, to record these contributions. Uh, as a part of discussions, we discussed uh, multiple ways to do that. One of the ways was to just have a Google Doc where everybody would be able to record contributions. 
another way is uh, uh, was uh, to um, uh, have a spreadsheet uh, in Google form uh, is basically the same. Uh, but uh, I actually suggest a, a bit more sophisticated way is having uh, a separate repository uh, where everybody would be able to submit their contributions. And uh, this is what I propose here. Uh, so I'll uh, briefly show it to you how it looks like right now. So there is um, a yeah, UI UX Hardfest page. Uh, basically, it's uh, just implemented uh, in uh, well, uh, readme md um, and it has some advantages uh, being compared to the form because we invite contributors to submit uh, information about their contributions as uh, github issues so for example here i can submit uh, ui ux enhancement bug fix or whatever array and basically for each contribution we ask uh, participants to summarize what they've done, uh, to share some links, to share screenshots, if possible. And uh, yeah, we, if we submit, uh, if users submit uh, such issues, uh, then uh, what we will do, we will process them, we will include them to uh, the list of contributors. So you can see a draft here, we are using all the contributors, it's uh, um, a default, uh, well, it's pretty popular engine uh, which allows uh, tracking contributions. So we will be putting them there. Also, we can aggregate this information, for example, for uh, daily summaries, weekly summaries, and we can use uh, that uh, to generate reports uh, when the Hackfest is over. So that's why I propose using such uh, maybe a bit more sophisticated engine, uh, but uh, it will it will be hopefully more efficient in terms of collecting uh, information. So, um, so just yeah. to reiterate, all I need to do as a participant in mm -hmm. the Hackfest is submit an issue to this repository yeah. and use one of the templates that's there to describe my mm -hmm. contribution and that will have, have recorded that, yes, I'm attempting to contribute. Yeah, uh, so for example, uh, recently I uh, improved, uh, uh, yeah, I do improved uh, uh, docs uh, uh, navigation bar on Jenkins IO. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for example, I can just uh, link my pull request. I want to do that because yeah, I need some time to find that. Uh, but uh, what I can do here, I can uh, just take a screenshot of the new uh, bar I created. Uh, yeah, I'm just showing it in live because it, just to show mm -hmm. uh, how easy to implement that. Uh, then, yeah, link, uh, okay, just user documentation, then uh, some uh, pull request. Uh, and after that, uh, yep. Yeah. Mm, I have uh, improved uh, the navigation bar. Yeah, now it doesn't take th three pages. <laughs> it's still difficult to navigate on a mobile UI, um, uh, but yeah, at least it's better. Yeah, and uh, User uh, doc uh, sections uh, can uh, be easily found. So yeah, basically I report uh, such contribution. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, here how it looks like. Um, and after that, uh, then somebody who reviews that, uh, what uh, we will do, we will use uh, the bot because uh, yeah, I forgot uh, the command, but it's easier so that uh, all contributors. So somebody reviews my pull request, uh, it's something like that. Uh, Alek Nasha for documentation. So I will cheat a bit because I haven't uh, submitted uh, documentation pull request as a part of this hackathon, but please be sure I will do. So, right. Okay, I just uh, asked uh, the bot to so uh, update uh, the page. And here there is a pull request, which basically adds uh, documentation uh, to the table. And uh, that's it. 
so right now it has been added only to the metadata, but in, uh, then uh, there will be incremental pull request which will update uh, this page and also add documentation icon here. So it's a uh, widely used uh, engine in open source, and I think that Hackathon is a good opportunity to try it out. I will also add welcome bot there. I will add uh, other bots which uh, summarize uh, these issues and create daily reports. Uh, again, uh, yeah, together with Marky, we've been at the JSOC Mentor Summit um, in Munich uh, this autumn, well, last autumn. And uh, there uh, were at least two sections which were related to community boards and promoting that. So I have a bunch of notes and yeah, I'll use it as, a, as my playground if you agree that it's a good approach for sharing the events. I would love to help on that. I have notes as well. Okay. So basically what I'm asking here is, is, everybody, is everybody fine with hosting? So there was something like seven plus ones in the developer mailing list. So will it host in, does it matter whether it's hosted in Jenkins Infra or Jenkins CI? Does the organization which hosts it matter? I would prefer to host it in uh, Jenkins CI because they have admin access. So okay. they, I can uh, basically hack things quickly if needed. Okay. That uh, and that that suits me just great. Is that does that slow down any linking of pull requests into it? They just hyperlink into them with a pasted hyperlink, and that's sufficient. They don't have to use the GitHub link a pull request facility. Excuse me. Well, it doesn't really matter because GitHub pull request facility works across organizations. It oh, it does. Oh, okay, yeah. good. All right. So, no yeah, so it uh, impacts, for example, team mentions, but. To be honest, I'm not sure why we would need that. I will probably create a team for reviewers, organizers, uh, and whomever wants to help with updating this uh, website. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Okay. So then, ultimately, this README page will represent when it's when, as we get towards the end of the week, the README will have on it pictures of all the people who have contributed. So we will have 50 or 60 people as contributors there. Exactly. Nice. So that's my plan. Uh, and yeah, everything is more or less automated. So yeah, as long as we don't have someone with a strange GitHub profile, etc., it will be easy. Okay. So if you're fine, I will just move it because I need it for the documentation update anyway. Um, so yeah, transfer. Yeah, That's is right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I will uh, fix uh, the team access later. So I will create a new team. Uh, for it. Okay, then something happened. I still uh, don't understand how the things work sometimes uh, there, but okay. So now it's hosted on uh, Jenkins CI. I will remove the prefix. And okay. So yeah, I will uh, keep patching it, but yeah, I think that it's a good start. So thanks for your time on that. And yeah, at least uh, you've got it published. So any questions or should we move on? None from me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next question is about uh, themes support policy. And again, it's related to the Hackfest because one of the items we put there right now is support of the dark theme. And uh, widely, it, there would be interest uh, to have uh, other themes updated, to have a better marketplace for themes, and other topics which are currently in the draft of Google Doc. So in order to do that, uh, we needed an official uh, support policy for themes, because at the UXC, when we were discussing this topic, 
there will be a lot of concerns about how do we align themes support policy with the need to evolve Jenkins UI. Uh, so there was a pull request from me, which is based on the dev list discussion. So at that dev list discussion, I guess we got a bunch of plus ones. Uh, notably, we got a plus one from Tobias, who is a maintainer of simple theme plugin. So it's a key feedback for us. Uh, then, uh, yeah, there was this pull request. Uh, actually, I didn't intend to have it merged before the meeting, uh, but I forgot to put on hold. Sorry, so sorry about that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just uh, I still want to discuss it here and uh, officially sign it off. Uh, because the policy is basically that uh, we don't provide uh, banner, uh, we don't provide compatibility for themes. Uh, so mm, it means that we can uh, break the themes uh, by UI updates, which is must have for our roadmap. Uh, they will have stories like uh, UI overhaul. Um, and definitely it's not something which could be delivered without breaking changes in uh, layout structure, etc. So uh, there is a page and right, yeah, I'll just uh, show the current version since uh, it got merged. Uh, it's within managing. Mm, so yeah, it's here, uh, themes for user interface. Uh, so, yeah, this policy includes uh, two bits. One is, yeah, uh, Jenkins themes are provided to this without any warranty, just taken from MIT license. Uh, why explains uh, why we need that, uh, guidance how to report that, and uh, best practices for developers. So this is what was proposed in the mailing list and signed off, just uh, with a better text. So my question to the governance meeting, uh, are we fine with that being host disease or would we like to review it, reapprove it, maybe reverse it? It's just fine, so in this stuff, mm -hmm. just merge it. Or it is already merged, but. <laughs> right, yeah, sorry. And I, know, I, no worries, uh, <laughs> I clearly approve, I merged it, so yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, we'll call it a post-merge a post -merge approval. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, well, uh, not worries at, no worries at all, it's my mistake. I didn't mark it up proper uh, accordingly. And the mark was totally right to merge it because it's within the user documentation. So it's a copy ed editor uh, who makes a decision whether we merge it or not. And I'm not sure whether it was a good idea to put a policy in uh, documentation, but yeah, I just decided that until we have something formal, why not? Mm -hmm. But Okay, if everyone agrees, we can just uh, uh, approve to that, approve, and move on. So uh, we will probably make some updates during the hard fest and these pages, but it works. Okay, the next topic is a bit more interesting, is about our Windows support policy. So Jenkins project is 15 years old, and during these 15 years, so basically we had no Windows support policy at all. Well, and for what it was, we still didn't have Unix support policy or support policy for other, any other system. So the theory behind that is that if you're able to run a supported Java version, most likely Jenkins will work. And this is a good theory, but uh, yeah, we have a lot of native code, uh, in particular uh, JNR, JNI, we also have Windows Service Wrapper and other components. So, uh, it's not guaranteed that uh, Jenkins will work on any platform. Uh, and uh, this policy basically suggests uh, a change, which documents the support levels we want to have. Uh, this is what uh, we discussed um, in the developer mailing list. Right now, there is no conclusive decision there where, whether we merge this document or not, because yeah, so let's check what we have there. So we have some uh, positive comments about uh, having policy in general, but uh, yeah, no approvals in the developer mailing list for this particular pull request. Uh, we have approvals from Mark, from Team Jacob, and from Sladen about the policy. Um, 
and yeah, I suggest uh, to briefly discuss it at the meeting and to see whether we need to get, get a more feedback or whether we can publish a this version and then iterate if needed. And I think we should publish, publish and iterate. I think it's it's adequate and beyond. So it, it's it's a mm -hmm. really great policy to have, even if we did no iteration. It describes levels of support and which things we're actively testing and which we aren't. Mm, yeah. So uh, there are some. Uh, follow-ups which will come after that and which are worth noting. For example, uh, currently we uh, bundle uh, .NET Framework uh, to .0 binaries, uh, for example, for Windows Service Wrapper. We want uh, to go to 4.0. Basically, it means uh, dropping support for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and so on. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's that important in 2020. Uh, but it's uh, a big technical depth for the project uh, to maintain to the zero. Uh, if you look at the code, we have a lot of branches. It also impacts current the Google Summer of Code project because there is no YAML parsing libraries which would support uh, .NET Framework to the zero at the moment. Um, so we want to move forward and basically drop compatibility of some Windows versions. Uh, yeah, and our support policy is basically Level one is just uh, latest supported versions of 64-bit uh, and uh, versions uh, which we include in Docker images, uh, which is currently not latest, but yeah, this we put it explicit. Then level two is whatever is supported by Microsoft, which is 64-bit. Level three, it's everything else. So it's uh, uh, no longer support versions of 64-bit platforms, 32-bit platforms, uh, basically all other exotic, well, exotic versions. For example, I spent uh, a significant part of my career working with use Windows Embedded, and uh, Jenkins works there, but uh, I'm not sure whether we are ready to support that, especially since we have no practical way to fix issues at the moment and to test that. So I put it to tier three. Same for preview releases, same for Wine, Rare Arctos, and other Windows API emulations. I have no idea whether Jenkins works there, to be honest, but I definitely know that it works with Sigwin. Again, it's not something I would wish to fully support, but yeah, whatever. And yeah, the level four would be unsupported. So things which we definitely don't support. So it's Windows XP all the way, and, uh, well, there is a typer, okay, all the, all the way uh, service pack three. Then I put Windows Phone, just an education edge case example. And yeah, basically any other Windows platforms uh, before 2008. Uh, so yeah, no. No Windows Vista support, not now, not ever. Well, it's up to, for a discussion. But with the current policy, it actually would be tier three. Oh, yeah, tier three. So I still need to fix spelling a bit uh, before merging, but in principle, this is what I support. Uh, and, yeah. Whoever wants to improve this policy, uh, welcome to Platform Special Interest Group. We will welcome contributions. Okay. So, what do you think about merging that? Assuming that I fixed typos. I'm a plus one. I, I did not comment on this PR because I don't know enough about Windows. I didn't, mm -hmm. I sort of, it's a non binding plus one, if you will. I'm plus one. I think I think it's the right thing to do, and I I promise to continue using Windows and making sure that it keeps working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lee, what do you think? Yeah, for me, it's a plus one. I don't use Windows, but I think it's a good thing to have it working because a lot of my students are using Windows and they would be happy if they can use Jenkins in Windows. 
Josh, uh, yeah, you just joined in the middle of the meeting, but if you want to, uh, to comment. Uh, uh, give me a moment to try and find the documents that you're working at. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so the teller shared uh, in the comments. This chart, this chart. Okay. All right. I think I need to bring my son to bed. <laughs> so mm -hmm. <laughs> goodbye and see okay. you next time. <laughs> bye. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Ola. Yeah. Bye. Uh, yeah, I think we are closing down more or less. So, I'll uh, uh, just uh, review that. Uh, yeah, so do we have any other topics for today? I don't have anything. None for me. Okay, so the next meeting, I guess it would be as usual. So it's something like June 3rd, I guess. Yeah, right. June 3. So I haven't heard about anything happening on this day. So I think you just schedule it as is. Again, I'm not sure whether it will be Zoom or RC. Um, so let's see. I prefer Zoom on my own, but uh, yeah, I guess there might be contributors who prefer IRC. So, yeah. So, let's see. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, thank Josh, you all. Uh, would you like to finish the discussion here? Or? Uh, sure. I mean, I'm, I look through it in the preview. It seems fine. Um, mm -hmm. I've sometimes I wear Windows hat. Sometimes I don't. Um, my current Jenkins environment does not, but I definitely deal with Windows. It, overall, it seems reasonable. Um, mm -hmm. is, is the idea that right now you have zero? Um, documentation as to what you support exactly so we were gradually improving this documentation for example yeah, we just updated uh, web browser documentation when we were working on java 11 support we created uh, support policy for java but uh, operating systems is still a terra incognita for us okay future uh -huh future document will be will include docker or will future additional pull requests will try to talk about docker in a similar way okay um yeah the, so the, i i left one little comment in the um github there's one line which is a little weird cool. okay basically the the colon plugin colon windows i don't know what it's trying to do um, you mean this plugin? Or? Yeah, like is 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 plugin colon Windows slash slaves a proper name of a thing, or is it? Yeah, so it's a macro. This macro will basically uh, resolve uh, to this uh, website. Ah, okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is a special case. Uh, as a happy maintainer of this plugin, I would say that I, I see no real use case for that on modern Windows versions. And just configuring uh, this plugin uh, to be working on recent Windows versions would be a good challenge. Uh, but yeah, since it's still there, I decided to reference it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, right, we know we're going to talk about slaves, but masters is still the canonical term for the other side. Yeah, so we, we renamed agents. Uh, so now there is no slaves, there are agents. Right. 
uh, we have um, a project in our roadmap uh, to finish the cleanup because yeah, there is still a lot of things to do. Uh, but yeah, we just discussed renaming Docker agents. Before that, we renamed uh, SSH built agents plugin. So these were two major issues, but still a lot of minor things here and there. Mm -hmm. um, so we will gradually clean it up. It's here, but yeah, so there is just a link to the epic. Okay. Uh, for master terminology, uh, so personally, I don't have strong opinions. I know that uh, Marky has, uh, so I think that we put put it on the roadmap, uh, rename to something like Jenkins Server or whatever. Uh, but yeah, right now there is no specific plan for that. Okay. Um, so as a general thing, we at my employer are in the process of moving away from Jenkins. This is a slight disclaimer. Um, but I'm always help, happy to help out with terminology and things. So when mm -hmm. you guys do get around to it, please feel free to ping me. I'm sure I'll still be reachable. Um, okay. Uh, That's great. Thank but, you. Yeah. I'm... Should I mark and approve <laughs> in the PR or? Well, if you see it's fine, yeah, feel free to just approve. So, well, basically all our pull requests in the Jenkins project are open for comments. So, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, thank you for taking the time. <laughs> yeah, it's perfectly fine. Uh, thanks for your feedback. Okay, so. Uh, my next steps there, I will uh, fix a few typos and then uh, hopefully we'll measure them uh, the tomorrow after the platform seat meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that's all with regards to agenda and thanks uh, to everyone for your time. And yeah, I will publish the recording soon. Thank you all. I'll see you online. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Mm -hmm.